So unfortunately, we won't see any rapid change to the better when it comes to geopolitical uh, situation uh, around the globe, uh, meaning interest rates, inflation rate, uh, political unrest uh, will um, stay uh, for, for the next couple of months, probably next couple of years as well, which means that um, a very diligent preparation of our uh, of the M and A uh, side of things and transactions will be important, uh, meaning that the transaction is uh, considered from front to end uh, during the investment thesis. Uh, then uh, also after the signing of the deal, uh, really important to have uh, synergy uh, impacts, uh, cost reductions, all the value creation aspects in mind uh, to increase the value of an investment and to get out a very in, uh, successful investment uh, for, for both um, uh, parties. The money market is becoming very, very complicated at the moment for a number of reasons, political uncertainty, uh, wars, interest rates, which are increasing, higher cost of capital. So it is becoming of paramount importance that the transactions are actually um, effectively uh, completed because this is the only way to get uh, things right and to get the value out of um, out of a transaction. So uh, the barometer, uh, what uh, is telling us? I mean, the participants, the barometer has told us that um, the three key factors uh, which are super relevant uh, in a transactions are planning things in advance even before the diligence phase to make sure that the integration phase is then actually tackled uh, in a very holistic way. Uh, be very cautious and uh, invest a lot of time and effort in uh, IT and systems, which are typically a great challenge to, to surpass. And um, on a last but not less important item, communication. Communication is vital communication among all the stakeholders of the transaction with employees with the external stakeholders if the communication is not managed properly the deal would likely fail so these are the three things that we learned through the 2023 first edition of the barometer uh let's look at next year and uh if things uh, will change or evolve technology plays a critical role in MA. Since the origination, when we have where we have the ability to identify uh, several targets and then place some filters and some, uh, some some additional layers to be able to identify the one that we want to invest, stepping up on the diligence phase, where through advanced analytics we can process more data, we can identify and test the hypothesis that we have tested, through the integration, where um, using technology to manage the whole process, to monitor the synergies and the value creations opportunity gives us the ability to, with more certainty, make sure that we achieve success. So in order for companies to face the new M&A trend, it will be important to, to understand the new context that we are living in. So the geopolitical changes that we are facing, the high interest rates that companies need to, to, to address, will imply that uh, a strategy will become an important part of the, the, the process. So to have a clear M&A strategy will be very important. To identify new, new geographies, new contexts, new markets will be a possible solution for companies. And this will bring different due diligence into the table. It is important to, under, to address and to understand the, the risk for different countries. It, it will be important to, to address new due, due diligence like ESG uh, into the table. Technology will play a more important role every day, and so due, due diligence, uh, IT due diligence will be very relevant. And so I believe that uh, to bring a new perspective into the buy and integrate process will be needed in order to, to improve the success of the M&A processes into the future. Now, now more than ever, uh, the, 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 to have a cl clear approach and a clear um, understanding of the process will be relevant to, to, to have a better result for the future. Basically, this survey will help our companies to understand and have an holistic view of a transaction process from the initial growth and planning the strategy of the acquisition 
planning the acquisition, doing all the due diligence phases, and the several kind of diligence that should be done under the acquisition process, to then work clearly on the integration part. And that is one of the integral parts of this study that is telling us that companies are not maximizing the value of a transaction on, on the transaction they are doing currently. And we believe that looking on the way this survey explained it to us and the ideas taken from here, it will help clearly to define a much more clear roadmap to a successful transaction. Thank you.